All right, make sure that you, um, if you are an at-home learner, you tried to do this by yourself first, and then you're coming here to see how you did. Okay, so you had, a, you had about six addition and subtraction questions that you needed to use a strategy to help um, you add or subtract. Okay, so you could use your fingers, you could use a mental map, a number line, pictures, or manipulatives to help you solve. And I'm going to show you how to solve them in a few different ways, okay? So the first one is 6 plus 4. Well, we should know that the numbers 6 and 4 are friends of 10, but the way we could solve it with our number line is we start at the number 6, and if we're adding the number is getting bigger, so we need to go to the right. We're going to add 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 plus 4 equals 10. Okay, well with 7 minus 2, how about I use some counters for that, okay? So the first number I start with is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, well if I have 7, now I need to take away 2. I am separating. I'm not adding more. I'm taking away. So I can cross these out to show that I'm taking them away. Take away 1, take away 2. How many are left? 5. Okay, next we have 9 plus 3. We can use our number line for this. If I have 9, adding 3, my numbers are getting bigger. Add 1, 2, 3. 9 plus 3 equals 12. Okay, next 10 plus 5. Well, remember the strategy that if we have a multiple of 10 and a one-digit number, that one digit can just go into the ones place. So 10 plus 5 equals 15. All right, next, 8 minus 4. Let's use our number line for this one. I start with 8. Now that minus sign means I'm taking away 4 or I'm getting smaller, so I need to go to the left. 8 minus 1, 2, 3, 4 equals what number? 4. Great job. And then last we have 10 take away 7. Well, I can take 10 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then that minus 7, am I going to add more or, more, or am I going to take away? I'm going to take away 7. So I can take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And how many dots are left? Three. That's another friend of 10. 7 and 3 equals 10. All right, how did you do? Give me a thumbs up if you got these correct. Thumbs to the side if you got some correct. Thumbs down if you need more practice with adding and subtracting. All right, now we're going to apply what we um, have learned about this to help us solve um, and answer questions about graphs.